In this video, we want to evaluate this integral two ways. One, either your standard integration by parts, or the abbreviated form, or the DI method, whatever you want to call it. And another second method could be just to express the integral in an equivalent form. So if you want to pause the video and try it, go ahead, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to start over here then. Say 3 ln of x is equivalent to e to the ln of 3. And this is taken to the ln of x power. It's base c, and the natural log is base c, so properties of logs will tell me that this is it's going to be 3. So those are the same result. Properties of logs, or you can say because the exponential and the uh, log function are inverses of each other. So what I'm going to do now is use that equivalent statement there. And right here I'm going to write e to the L of 3. Remember this is that's the same thing as 3. And then that's taken to the ln of x power. This is dx. Just another way of writing this. This is 3, so this is 3 to the ln of x. Same thing. And now, powers of exponents, these are just exponents. The way this is set up, you can just multiply these exponents. So I can say this is, this is e to the ln of 3 times ln of x, and I can commute those and rewrite it in this form. And I still got the integral here. So that's still the same thing. Multiply the, the exponents, and then over here, multiply the exponents, get the same thing. This is dx. But then this in the parentheses, e to the ln of x. That's just x. Again, properties of logs. Base c, and then this is natural log base c. You get x. So this is x, ln of 3. And this is dx. Okay, now this is pretty much the same as having x squared dx, the integral of x squared dx. Use the uh, power root for integrals here. So we add 1 to the exponent. So this is going to be ln of 3 is just a number. We add 1 to that. And then we divide by that. And this is your constant. Uh, we add the constant of integration here. Now this is equal to, this is x to the ln of 3 plus 1. So I can break that up this way. Say this is ln down here, plus, three, plus 1, or 3 rather, natural log of 3. So I've got natural log of 3 here in the bottom denominator. This is 3 plus 1. And this is x to the ln of 3 plus 1. So I'm going to break that up and write it this way. This is just going to be x to the ln of 3 and x plus your constant integration. And but this is this is a power of one here. So just using your laws of exponents, x to this power of ln of three and x to the power of one, we add the exponents, so we get the same thing we sort it out there. Exponent on x over here is ln of three plus one. This right here, x to the ln of, ln of three, from this statement right here, see this we have equality. Three ln of x equals to this, equals to this. So this is right here, and this step right here, this is this is x to the ln of 3, but that's the same thing as this over here. So I'm just replacing then x to the ln of 3 by 3 to the ln of x. And then we still have that x there on front. And that's over ln of 3 plus 1 plus the constant integration. And if you were to take the derivative of this expression right here, you should get 3 to the ln of x. That's one way to check your answer. Now this of course is correct. This is the same thing here. It's just simplifying it based on what uh, what we did here. Okay, so that's, this is one way to do it. Let's just clear this. And then the other way we can do it is use uh, integration by parts. So I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to say, and say, well, an integration by parts, we usually want two functions. Well, 
this this will be one here and then you can always multiply by one so the other one will be one so I'm going to let uh, u equal to 3 to the ln of x so du will equal to and then the derivative of the exponential is the exponential you can change root the derivative of the exponent so the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x so this would be times 1 over x I'm just going to put x here and this is x and then v will equal to 1 and I should say uh, dv dv is equal to 1 so v will equal to x that's your setup and then we put an equals here and then using the uh, standard rule for integration by parts we start off with the first part of the answer is u times v so u is 3 ln of x v is x we'll have x times this or could have it the other way around the x on the right side so we have that and then it's minus the integral of v that's x du and du is going to be 3 ln of x over x dx and now see the x here and the x here will cancel so what do we have here we actually have the integral well we got the same thing as this you got because the x the x is can cancel here so i got the integral of ln of 3 to the ln of x dx so it's going to repeat so what we do instead of going through this procedure again we just say well this is one of these and I forgot something right here. Let me go back to du here. This is the line of 3. For the exponential. The derivative of an exponential is the exponential. Times the derivative of the exponent. In the case ln of x. That's 1 over x. And then it's multiplied by the natural log of whatever the base is. Okay. So I need a ln of 3 here. So this is equal to then. So this is x then. Times 3 ln of x and then this I got ln of 3 here remember the x is cancelled so I'm going to bring this out that's a constant so I'm going to bring it outside the integral so this is ln of 3 and then this is the integral of 3 ln of x dx so all I'm going to do then is bring this to the, to the left side and combine it with this integral which is really the same same integral so if I, if this is just a minus here, I'd bring it over, I'd have two of these. So what do I have now? So in this case, I, I would have the integral, the integral of 3 to the ln of x dx. This came over, and this was 1, so this then, the coefficient of this one would be 1 plus ln of 3. And then I have left, then the only thing I have on the right side then is x multiplied by 3 to the ln of x. Of course, I've got a constant of integration. I'll put that at the end, though. So now I have this integral right here, and I've got this. So to solve for the integral of 3 to, to the ln of x d, dx here, I just divide both sides by this coefficient. So the final answer then here will be the integral of 3 to the ln of x we equal to this x here, and then the base 3 exponent is ln of x, and I divide by this coefficient over here, and the other part is ln of 3 plus 1, and then of course my constant of integration at the end, I'll put it here. So, right down of this. So, final answer then, using the standard integration by parts, is the integral of 3 to the ln of x dx is equal to x times 3 to the ln of x over ln of 3 plus 1, which is the same thing we got using the other approach. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.